This is Math Expressions Unit 3, Lesson 1. And we're going to start off by putting our first name, and then our class number, and then the date that you're working on this page up there on that name line. So pause the video, go ahead and do that, and then when you're ready to go, start it back up. Okay, so in this lesson we're going to work on practicing place value drawings to 999. And over here in our vocabulary box, it says place value. And so let's go ahead and look at number one. And the directions up here say write the number for each dot drawing. So what they've done is they've circled dots on this dot paper. And they've circled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They've circled seven single dots. So we're going to call it just seven dots, right? And then over here, what they did is they covered over with this with a line they covered over 10 dots so let's count how many tens that is one two actually i'm going to count by 10 so 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80. so they covered over eight tens which is 80 and we write that like that so 87. all right so um let's look at over there number number two this one looks a little different uh we do have our are single dots one two three four so they have four single dots right um, but they've put this black they put this black square around a bunch of our ten sticks what do you think that means well, let's count the ten sticks inside one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so they have put a box around ten ten sticks which is really that means it's worth a hundred and then we have two ten sticks over here and then we have four over here so really our number is 124 so those two ten sticks are worth 20 124 all right okay so now we're going to use what we just were looking at down here it says to write the number for each place value drawing so again our number three here's our boxes these are squares and we're going to call those each of those is worth 100 and then here's our our 10 sticks over here and i want to point something out 10 sticks are not tally marks so in tally marks you go one two three four five right you you group you bunch with that with that diagonal line you make a bunch of five but uh but these are not tally marks these are 10 sticks but they do you can tell they separate five a group of five and then two more over here and that's just to make it to to make it easier for you to see and count them quickly so you don't have to worry about counting these those are five so you can visually go okay what's five and two really quickly well that's seven so i see two hundreds seven tens and then same thing over here that's a group of five and then that is a group of two right so they group again five plus two so seven so our number is really 277 okay so your job now is to go and do to tell us what does what the rest of these place value drawings uh, mean what what are they what's the number for each of those so four five and six pause the video go ahead and fill those out and then when you're ready to go we'll look at the bottom section all right so we are right here now making a place value drawings for each number so we're going to use these place value drawings that we've been working with to uh, make the number 87 and make the number 587. So go ahead and do that. Pause the video. And when, when you're done, start the video back up. All right. So if you're ready to go, let's go ahead and go on to the next page. Now, even though there's not a name line, I'm going to ask you to always put your first name, class number, and the date that you're working on the page at the top of every page that we work on really any piece of paper I hand you put your first name your class number and the date just we're gonna get in the habit of doing that all right so when you're ready to go let's go ahead and go on all right so now on this lesson on this side we're gonna practice with the thousands now we're gonna we're gonna add a thousands to this so right here it says to write the number for each place value drawing similar to what we did but this time they've added this thousand stick. Yeah, it's like a, a big fat 10 stick, huge 10 stick. And what that really means is it's 
usually this square, this flat, is equal, that equals 100, right? Well, what they did is that they've made it three, they usually will make it three-dimensional. So it looks kind of like a cube. And what they did is they've glued, they usually glued two, ten of those together. And my, my square is not looking very good. But they, my cube's not looking very good. They usually glued ten of those together. And that equals ten hundreds, right? 100, 200, 300, 400. You get to a thousand. So ten hundreds is a thousand. But instead of having you to draw, instead of drawing these, because sometimes you can tell from my drawing, that can be kind of hard. What they did is they said, we're going to draw just these big, long, long kind of fat sticks to represent a thousand. Okay. So your job in, um, actually 910 is to tell us what number each of those drawings represent. And then while we're at it, just write down here. Um, then you can, they're going to ask you to make drawings for the number. Okay. So, um, your task is to tell us what number 9 and 10 represent and then make place value drawings for 11 and 12. So go ahead and pause the video. And when you're done with that, start the video back up and we'll look at that bottom section. Okay. So hopefully you're ready for this bottom section. Right here it says write numbers for word names. And I'm going to read the numbers out loud and, um, you just need to write them down. Okay. So I'm going to start right here with number 13 and the number in word form is 82 so go ahead and write that right there and then we're going to go over to number 14 99 number 15 467 number 16 906 Number 17, 1,015. And then number 18, 8,120. All right. So if you're not done with that, you can pause the video. If you are, let's go ahead and go on. So we're looking down here. We're going to check our understanding. And the directions say to use place value drawings to show how the numbers 251 and 521 are different. And they really don't give us a lot of space. I guess we could use a space over here or maybe under here. Uh, use a space. So if you're going to use this space down here, I would say, okay, let's show what 251 looks like. Show it here. And then over here, maybe show what 521 looks like. So use those, those different areas to show the place value drawings for those. So go ahead and pause the video. Actually, you can stop the video because that's the end of Lesson one. All right. Good job.